Despite Saudi Arabia's scorching sun, something far more ominous than heat seems to be brewing in the kingdom. Clouds of doubt are gathering over Neom, its ambitious urban planning project that promises to reshape the future. The country has gone to great lengths to keep the spotlight on these four letters through global campaigns. However, as 2024 unfolds, the future of this creation, especially its centerpiece, the line, is becoming murkier by the day. What's the problem surrounding this mega project? And could this revolutionary vision be slipping out of reach? Let's find out in today's video. But before we begin, do give us a quick like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. If you're done with that, then let's get right into it. On April 5, 2024, news struck like a thunderclap, sending shockwaves through the construction of the line. Bloomberg reported that the futuristic city, intended to revolutionize urban planning, will not be completed by 2030. The original vision for the city was monumental. Two parallel 500-meter-high skyscrapers, each 200 meters wide, stretching across 170 kilometers. This linear megacity was designed to be eco-friendly, ultra-connected, and capable of housing 9 million people. However, according to anonymous sources and leaked documents, only 2.4 kilometers of the project will be completed by 2030, accommodating just 300,000 people. This revelation sent shockwaves through global media, though it has yet to be confirmed or denied by Saudi authorities. If true, this dramatic reduction would deliver a severe blow to the line, but it wouldn't necessarily mean the end of this ambitious architectural dream. Originally designed with modular sections that could function independently, the first segments could still be completed, with others following in the future. However, with the announced budget cuts, the full realization of the project could take decades, if it ever materializes at all. For Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who has been a relentless advocate for this megacity, such a delay would be a significant blow, especially as the line was intended to be a cornerstone of his Vision 2030 initiative. This ambitious plan aims to modernize Saudi Arabia and reduce its reliance on oil, but the country's recent economic indicators are far from reassuring adding uncertainty to the future of this transformative project. The Public Investment Fund, PIF, which has been a major financial pillar for the line, is facing a surprising downturn, with its assets shrinking to just $15 billion, the lowest since 2020. This comes at a time when Saudi Arabia's public debt has also risen to 27.5% of GDP. Although this is still lower than nations like France, it signals increasing financial strain. To make matters more complex, Saudi Arabia's reliance on oil wealth is under pressure, with oil prices remaining relatively low. In response, the kingdom has been unveiling a string of high-profile mega-projects, such as a Dragon Ball theme park and an extraordinary two-kilometer-high tower near Riyadh, all aimed at attracting foreign investment. Yet, despite the flashy promotional campaigns, the returns haven't lived up to expectations. Naom, for example, was expected to draw $100 billion annually in foreign investment, but has stagnated at $17 billion a year between 2017 and 2022. Adding to the signs of slowing progress, a massive seawater desalination plant in Oxagon, designed to meet 30% of Neom's water needs, has been cancelled. Originally set to cost between $1.5 and $2 billion, the plant was a crucial part of the region's infrastructure. The agreement with the French company Veolia and Japanese firm Itochu has expired, and no new agreements have been reached. Neom officials explained the cancellation as a result of change forecasts for the region's water needs, but it still serves as a stark indication that plans are not progressing as envisioned. However, despite these challenges, Neom continues to move forward. Recent promotional videos have highlighted progress on various construction sites, though the line itself is barely mentioned. A far greater emphasis is placed on Sindala, a luxury island designed for wealthy travelers. The island is nearing completion along the Red Sea, with luxury hotels and leisure facilities like golf courses in view. But meeting the promised 2024 delivery date seems uncertain, with no official opening date announced. Elsewhere in Neom, the futuristic ski resort Trojena continues to make headlines. Expected to host the 2029 Asian Winter Games, Trojena's construction seems well underway, with heavy machinery on site and the arrival of steel for its 130,000 tons of infrastructure. However, 
The pace of construction will need to accelerate if the ambitious promises of ski slopes, a 330-meter skyscraper, and a massive water reservoir are to be realized. Meanwhile, Oxagon, a city built on stilts intended to be the industrial and port hub of Neom, has also seen some progress, with its first terminal slated to open in 2025. But as with other sites, the main activity seems focused on worker accommodations rather than on the final infrastructure. One of the most recent developments in Saudi Arabia's Neom project is Magna, a luxury coastal destination designed to attract affluent tourists. Magna will feature an array of upscale attractions, including a new golf course, luxury villas, and world-class hotels. The development is set to include 190 luxury apartments and 700 villas, all situated around a marina, creating an exclusive community for high-end travelers. While the vision behind Magna is undeniably grand, the scale of this project is significantly smaller than the ambitious The Line, which was initially planned to house millions of people. Magna's residential capacity is much more modest, targeting just 6,000 residents. This stark difference highlights the gap between Naom's lofty goals and the reality of what is being achieved. Despite the continued promotion of Naom through futuristic 3D models and promotional videos that depict scenes resembling something out of a science fiction movie, the actual realization of these projects is becoming increasingly uncertain. The complexities and challenges surrounding Neom are substantial, and as each new announcement comes with more ambitious promises, it becomes harder to predict what the final product will truly look like. The immense scale and logistical hurdles involved in bringing Neom to life only add to the growing skepticism. With Saudi Arabia facing economic and financial hurdles, it remains unclear whether the full vision of Neom will ever fully materialize or if these ambitious plans will remain unrealized dreams. In this climate of uncertainty, it's clear that the future of Naom, especially the line, remains up in the air. As more projects are announced and the financial burden continues to grow, Saudi Arabia must balance its futuristic ambitions with a practical approach to achieving them, with the pace of construction slowing, the financial outlook uncertain, and many of the initial promises starting to crumble. What does the future hold for Naom? Will the line still be built as envisioned, or will it be reduced to a mere shadow of its original dream? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked today's video, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.